nitroglycerin is the most dangerous and unstable explosive known to man. Any of you ever hear about the guy who invented nitroglycerin? Probably not, because he blew his freaking face off. His lab assistant came into the room, saw that his men are detonated, and he said, huh, I guess this stuff does work. All right, we're not going to take any more of this stuff than we need because nitroglycerin is extremely temperamental. So we just... Here's the thing. That's a great story to tell. If it was true, you could probably ask for manslaughter to take a five-year hit tops. It is true. Yeah. But the problem is, Patrick, the man you killed, his name is Timothy Carter. He's a well-respected local businessman, a devoted husband and father with no criminal record. No, that's incorrect. Wait a minute, let me finish. Now, we've already looked at his cell phone. I got the details right here. He logged zero calls from this O'Laughlin. None. And guess what else? He didn't have a gun on him. You have been acting differently lately, David. You used to get A's and B's. You're talking back, you're acting out. And now we're sitting here. So let me ask you, why would Kurt make that up? Maybe he likes me. <laughs> Three, two. These two brothers work together, they play together, and they live together in the house behind this diner. You know, a brother is someone who is uh, always... I don't mean to interrupt you there, Stan, but uh, I don't know where you got the idea that we're brothers. Well, I mean, you got the same last name. I just assume, what are your cousins? We're married! <laughs> you what? Tied the knot last year in Hawaii. I took his name, because this modern idea of couples keeping their own names, that's a lot of bunk. <laughs> story about that. We were gonna take Lou's name. Yeah, because Pete's never liked being Pete Peterson. Never did. <laughs> but my last name's Cockburn, and I just... Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. <laughs> you figured that, that two gay guys with a name no, like that? Oh, oh, we we never hear the oh. end of it! <laughs> 30 years ago, when I was a little boy, I grew up in this house, and I used to trick-or-treat in this neighborhood just like you boys did tonight. There was one Halloween in Iowa I'll never forget when I had my bag full of candy and all I wanted to do was get home and have a mallow cup. I got to the house expecting to see Grammy and Grandpa, but they weren't here. Guess who was here? Dracula? Yeah, Jason. Dracula was here. I met him face to face. I'll never forget it. I killed Dracula that night. I killed him, and I buried him in the backyard. Hey, hey, Howard, let me ask you a question. I got a riddle for you. What does a stripper do with her asshole before she dances? I don't know that. <laughs> she gives him 10 bucks, and she tells him to take out the trash! <laughs> That's Howard. Hey, take That's out the trash, Howard. <laughs> take out the trash, Howard. I'm funny. That is very good, Bob. That's <laughs> very, very good. I think we should get you a copy of our specs. And I can tell you this, though, at a minimum, at a minimum, it's going to have to run a million and a half cycles under real-time conditions and operate, oh, excuse me, what's the maximum temperature under the hood? Uh, it's, uh, 270 degrees. Operates in the field like it did here. Where'd you get your degree? Uh, Case Western. Good. Listen, I know that we are going to be in touch with you. Yes, sir. Very good. Gil? Right. <laughs> Dr. Kearns? Case Western. That's a uh, good school. I had an uncle once. I killed some gooks uncle and Nam. I can't remember which. How's it going? Good. You? Well, I got no legs, I got no balls, I piss out of a tube. How the fuck do you think it's going? Right, but getting the good parking spaces must take some of the sting out of it. 
You're funny. He's funny. You're funny. Thank you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. I'd like to introduce you to my better half. Unfortunately, it got blown off 10 clicks south of High Fall. You were in the shit? Up to my neck, sweetie. Up to my neck.